Hey everybody, how's everybody doing today? I'm doing good. Oh, except for I knocked my glasses down. All right, so just giving you a check in. I got my got some new hair, and it's supposed to, this hair is Amazon cheapy hair, and it it's kind of made to look like it's crimped, but it's in a ponytail. See, see the ponytail. Kind of gives you that that beachy look, you know. But yeah, I just got this today and it's fairly uh you can it's very affordable. Very very affordable. Um now it is meant for headbands only. You can you can only wear it with a headband or a hat. It's not like a regular, you know, hair piece or wig. But I mean, I think it's pretty cute. If you want to, you know, if you want to wear your hairstyle up and like, this is kind of like what it would look like if, you know, somebody crimped their hair with a crimping iron. Remember that back in the nineties, you'd crimp your hair before you go to the pool and lay out at the pool a little bit. This is what that reminds me of. The, the crimping hair, uh, crimping of the, the hair at the swimming pool. I used to love to lay out in the swimming pool when I was a teenager. You couldn't get me out of there. I had the darkest skin and just the, and I've got green eyes, so I'd have very dark complexion. I'm, you know, as you know, I've got Indian, part Indian blood in me, Blackfoot Indian. And I have green eyes, so like I had like, and I had bl like bleach blonde hair, like blonde, blonde, I guess, because the sun would dye it. And oh my gosh. When I was a kid, I used to live at the swimming pool. You couldn't get me out of there. <laughs> um, and then I grew up, or not grew up, but, you know, in high school, I was a lifeguard. So, I loved being at the swimming pool. But this is what, I would always, like, crimp my hair and go to the pool like that. I would never get, like, submerged my head or anything like that. But if I had to, I would. But... It's kind of like going out somewhere to a baseball game or a sport, sporting event or something, something cute, a festival, and you wear your hair up. But this is, this was only like, I think 20 or $30 and it feels like real hair. It's not human hair at all. It's, you know, it's the faux hair, but it's pretty cute anyways. And if there's no name for it, you just go on Amazon and look up, uh, oh, what's it called? It's called Hats with Hair. Hats with Hair, I think it's what it's called. And it'll show you all kinds of, and then these are made for like bandanas or headbands. Headbands with hair. But super cute. I got a straight one too, but I thought, ooh, let me put this curly one on. Anyways, so tomorrow... Not tomorrow. Wednesday is my MRI to see how the Red Devil is responding or the cancer is responding to the Red Devil treatment and see, you know, what size the tumors are for the surgeon. Then I also on the same day go to see my radiologist. I've never seen him before, um, but after surgery, I will have to go see the radiologist. So I'll have chemo and radio and um, radiation. I still have to do the Keytruda. Um, so, but I don't have to do any more of the Red Devil after next Wednesday. So next, so that, that is this Wednesday. And then Monday I go for my echogram for my heart to see how my heart's holding up with the Red Devil because the Red Devil chemo treatment will sometimes on some people damages their heart so I have to do that on Monday and that's at 7 30 in the morning that means I have to leave here by 6 30 6 I'd say probably 6 look at these dark circles under my eyes what can you do <laughs> I mean look at that look see man there's nothing I can do to cover it either Okay, for here all the way around. Here all the way around. No matter what. 
but hopefully these won't happen anymore after I stop my chemo treatment. Look at that. Looks like somebody punched me in the eye. Look at here. See that? Look at that side. Oh my gosh. Oh well. Anyways, um, so then next, so that's on Monday. So then next Wednesday I have to do is my um, visit with my surgeon and then visit with my oncologist, then visit with the lab so they can put in the, um, the, the thing for, to put in my, um, chemo treatment and then up to the chemo treatment. Then after that, I get to go home. That will be my last treatment for chemo. As far as before the surgery, after the surgery, so after I get my last chemo on next Wednesday, I get a six, I get a six week break to let my body recover from. So this next, this very last dose is going to be the highest dose of the red devil that I've had so far. I've been getting Keytruda this whole entire time and I've been getting the red blood cell boosters this whole entire time. So this next time, this, this Wednesday will be the highest dose of red devil that I've had. And I am not looking forward to it. Mm -mm. So yay. I am so excited about not having to do the red devil anymore. Yay. And, um, and I think the Keytruda is what's causing me to gain my weight. Um, now I I'm I am I keep playing with this hair. I can't help it. Um, the first five to six days after the Red Devil treatment, I'm so sick to my stomach. But then after that, I start gaining my appetite back. But I've gained weight back, and they call it chemo belly. I don't know. Do your research on it. It's called Chemo Belly. And some of you have asked me what brand of the white blood cell booster I'm that I'm receiving. It's actually a, a little square a little square machine that goes on the back of my arm. And what it does is it it has that all the medicine in it that I need for the booster, the red blood cell booster. And it, um, it distributes it when it's time and it inserts a catheter and then it inserts the medicine and then pulls it out and then I can just rip it off when I'm done. But hang on, I'll show you what it is. Hang on. Okay. So it's called New, New Lasta. It's called New Lasta. And this is what it looks like. You see that? And this is the back of it. See that little thing right there? See that? That is what holds it into my arm until it's ready to, and see the little hole right here? That's where the catheter comes out and distributes the medicine. See that? And this is the, the pamphlet that they give you for it. And when you open it up, it has instructions. And they give this to you every single time. And it always has the directions so that you don't forget. And I guess they have to give it to you, these directions. 
and it tells you how it's distributed and where on the arm it goes and what it's used for. And I don't know why they give you this pamphlet. Maybe some people place it themselves, but the nurses have always placed it for me. And it tells you to distribute it, dispose of it. So we kept one just so that we can show people. See? That's it. So, yeah, you can definitely do your research on it. And I was getting the booster shots every single, like, three days in a row and having to go to the hospital. But because my immunity system is low, they decided to use this machine instead, which is fine with me because I didn't like going to the hospital anyway. Because half the time, they didn't even have my medicine ready and waiting for me at all. So, anyways, that is what is happening this week and next week. Uh, it's going to be very busy, uh, plus I'm still taking care of my grandma, and hospice still comes, and it's very busy lifestyle, very, and, you know, fighting being sick with still having to take care of my grandma and still doing all this stuff. It's a lot. It is a lot. Sometimes I'm like, I don't even know how I'm making it, but oh, I just wish I could get these, these dark circles out of my, off my eyes. My gosh, look at that. That's horrible. Horrible. Look at that. It looks like somebody blacked me in my eye. It's just because my red blood cells are low and my white blood cells are low, but that's all. But my eyebrows are starting to grow back. My eyelashes are starting to grow back a little. So, I don't know, but the nurse at the hospice said that these will fall off one more time and the peach fuzz on my hair will fall out one more time and then it'll start growing back as the six weeks break that I get to take. So, we'll see. And she said normally it grows back a whole different texture and different color, so that'll be cool. I hope it grows back this color. This color is pretty cute kind of a reddish blonde I love this hairstyle though I'm stuck in the 90s maybe remember white snake and all that the the groups the the band the rock band groups they'd have their hair like this too but this reminds me more of a beachy kind of going to the beach and you're gonna lay out or you know hang out with your friends kind of hairstyle <laughs> all right anyways I love you all so much and Thank you for all your prayers. Thank you for all your support, encouragement, love. And I will see you on the next video. See ya.